Okay. Supreme Personality of Godhead. Japa Mantra Meditation Harinam. Sharanagati. How to get water out of our ears <laughs> so we can hear properly. Astakali Lila. How to understand Sakyaras and Madhurya Ras, the coward boys with Krishna and the gopis with Srimati Radhika. And how to be peaceful like Kalindi. Always peaceful. And Vivek also, self satisfied. No questions. This means self realized. <laughs> realized. Very well situated. Very good. <clears throat> and also, we have our current situation, right? So, we're getting ready to travel. But spiritual life, spiritual life means movement. That's life, ecstatic movement. We say we should be ecstatic, not static. So we should be mobile. So we are traveling now to the West Coast and the East Coast, but also those who are staying here, you are traveling from your bedroom to the temple, from the temple to the house, from the kitchen to the garden, preaching. So this means we're alive. We want to be alive. What does it mean to be alive? There's a verse in Archidini Charitamrita, Pran ache jar shehitu prachar, where there is life, force, and then you can share or perform outreach, going out, movement. So, pran, what is the source of that life? Why do we get up? They say in the Upanishads that nobody does anything without desire. Nobody does anything without desire. Sometimes you get lost and you don't know what you want, and then you stop doing anything. Why? I don't know. So the question is, there's vasana, material desires, and there are spiritual desires. What is the difference between prem and calm, for example? Our desires and what is Krishna's desire? What do we want? And what does Radha Krishna, what is their desire? What is Gurudev's desire? It's a very mysterious thing because their desire is what's best for us and our desire is what's best for them. Whose desire is more important? Living entity is, you're asking about the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So who are you to ask this great question? Who are you to ask about God? The ant is asking about God. Who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead? The ant is asking. The ant is just doing work moving grain here to there. But you are asking about God. That means you must be godly. How can you ask about something? The chair is not asking what is God. The microphone stand is not asking what is God. You are asking. Who are you to ask about God? What is your nature? So you are a jiva, living entity, asking about the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That means this is part of your nature understand and you should think asking is not enough you want to know about the supreme personality of godhead what does it mean to know so the first verse the first aphorism of vedanta sutra is Atato brahma jigyasa now we should inquire now we should inquire why now why weren't you inquiring in your last life were you you don't know krishna says in gita to arjuna where did you come from? Where are you going? You don't know. So now that you're in the present, now you should take advantage of this moment and realize, not just intellectually, experientially, you should know who is God. How to know Krishna. What does it mean to know Krishna? The Supreme Personality of Godhead. You want to know Krishna, Sham? You should know Krishna like his friends. Like, I may speak to you about Krishna, but when you are one of the coward boys and you ask them about Krishna, what will they answer? Oh yes, Krishna is my friend, I wrestle with him. Sometimes I defeat him, sometimes he defeats me. Sometimes I carry him on my shoulders. Why? We were wrestling and I defeated him. So he had to carry me on his shoulders and do a race back and forth. That is Krishna. So if you're asking his friends, who is Krishna, they'll give you that answer. 
If you ask the gopis who is Krishna, what would they say? Oh, he is very Kalua, Durta, Lampat, Cheater, Rascal, Rogue, Naughty, always stealing butter, always one time, you know, he stole our clothes when we were bathing in the river. What is this Krishna? We never want to hear about Krishna. We never want to see Krishna. We never want to talk about Krishna. Then why are you saying Krishna, Krishna, Krishna? You can ask the gopis. If you're always criticizing, talking bad about Krishna, why are you always speaking about him? They say, oh, Krishna is like a black snake. He's like a ghost possessing us. Oh, we can say like this. It's very bad. So he has taken our heart, taken our mind, everything. We cannot forget him. Oh, wow, Kirtan's here. Jai, Kirtan Prabhu ki jai. Jai. Rivo. We have eight devotees, eight questions. Actually, only six. Kalindi and Vivek are self-satisfied. <laughs> But if we have time, we can talk with Kirtan also. So first question, who is Krishna? Who, are, who is asking? First, you are asking, then you understand what is the self-realization, then you can understand what is God-realization. First, know that you are not this body, you are soul, and how to realize that? Understand what is your relation with the absolute truth, as Paramatma, and then you study. So if you ask, all the bridge bhasis, they'll give you different answers who is Krishna. You ask Madhya Shoda who is Krishna? Oh, Madhya Shoda, who is Krishna? He is Gopal. He is my son. And he's always stealing butter. And I'm always giving him breast milk, serving him, feeding him. He's very naughty. But she's always thinking of Krishna with great love. Therefore, there's a verse, Jiski Jaisi Bhavana Jaisi Hari Murat Dhika Tintese. According to your mood, you will understand God. So for some, they worship Lord Shiva. He is for them Bhagavan. For some, Durga. For them, Surya Bhagavan, Ganesh Bhagavan. There are many ideas. Krishna says in 17th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, we should not disturb people's faith. Different people have different levels of faith according to their spiritual development so you support that don't disturb no problem any kind of dharma is better than no dharma any dharma is better than no dharma in this world there's so many gnostic gnostic means people who have no dharma what is their dharma <laughs> eat sleep be merry charvak muni says beg borrow or steal that is their dharma that is their religion there's a great sage, he said, beg, borrow, or steal, but anyhow you should eat ghee. This is dharma. So at least we are dharmic. What Krishna says ultimately in Bhagavad Gita, no one else will claim they are Bhagavan, but Krishna says, Ishvaro, Brahmano hi pratishtaham amritasya sukavaha. I am the platform of everything. I am the foundation of everything. I am the... Support the Brahman. I am Paramatma. I am Parabrahma. And Arjuna prays to him like this. And he says, not only I am acknowledging you like this, but Lord Nada, Nada Rishi, Kapila, Bias, all the great sages. So Krishna himself declares he is Bhagavan. Arjuna declares he is Bhagavan after seeing his universal form. And then Arjuna says, not only I am saying this, but Sri Nada Muni, Ved Vyas, and all the great sages are saying this. And this is the conclusion of all the Sastra. Then Gurudev talks about Harinam. So question one, question two. First, you are soul, so you are asking about God. So you should think, asking about God is not enough. You should know God. What does it mean to know God? You should inquire about God, but from who should you inquire? Therefore, Prabhuji always likes to say, Atato Brahma Jigyasa means inquire about God, but from who? Shakti, Shimati Radhika, she knows Krishna best, so inquire from her. Then Harinam. Gurudev was saying today that one of the volumes. Now we're finishing up to volume 50. Vrindavan Prabhu. 50 volumes of Srila Gurudev's Harikata. 
So we're getting, we ordered bookshelves and we're going to put bookshelves where Panchatat Bhagwani Thai are and put all the volumes of Gurudev Sadikata facing the devotees near Gurudev. See, Gurudev is smiling, very happy. Why? If you want to know Krishna, you have to know Guru. If you want to know Guru, you have to find monified Guru, take shelter. So we're very lucky to be under the shelter of Srila Gurudev. So Gurudev was saying today that all the Vedas, the Upanishads, they are just like the emanation of the effulgence and the glory of the holy names, the Harinam. Harinam is the essence, the holy name. There's the great stories in Ramayana, there's great stories in Mahabharata, and all the Sastra, the glories of Nam. In this age especially, without Nam, we have no support in spiritual life. If we want to advance in spiritual life, we must take shelter of Harinam. In Kali Yuga, we are very... We have this great pride. What is that pride? Oh, Jai Maharaj. Jai Maharaj. Can you give him a chair there? Sanyasi Maharaj ki jai. Jai. Can you give him a seat? There you go. Bring, bring, bring nice seat, Maharaj. Four, five, not five, six. Here's Vivek, you come clo- come this side a little, please. Vivek can see. Jai Maharaj. Okay, we're doing questions with so many devotees. So, we're doing some discussions there. A little more, a little more. Okay, perfect. Jai, Haribo, Dandavats. Jai, Haribo. Okay, why chant Harinam? So, I don't know if we're going to get through all our questions. We're on number two. Just a short teaser. Why each question? You can have many, many books covering this one question. Who is God? It's like, <laughs> who is God? Oh, we can answer that in 30 seconds. No problem. 30 seconds? No. 10 seconds. Not 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Supreme Personality of God is Krishna. How long did that take? <laughs> if you want Praman, then there's, okay, now you study the books. You want evidence? So I told you, Bhagavad Gita is evidence, Sastra is evidence. But how do you approach Krishna? That is Harinam. Gurudev said, Harinam is more merciful than Krishna. So you want to know Krishna, yes? Do you want to know Krishna? How? Like the coward boys? Like the gopis? How they know Krishna? How followers of Srimati Radhika know Krishna? Their knowledge of Krishna is different. If you ask Rupa Manjari, who is Krishna, she'll give you a different answer than Madhu Mangal. And different answer than Yashoda Mata. And different answer than Devaki and Vasudev. Different answer than Narad Muni. Different answer than anyone you meet at Walmart. Different levels of knowledge. So which knowledge you're looking for? Highest knowledge? Then you have to go to the highest source. What is the highest source? The highest rasa. Highest relationship. The most intimate, deep relationship. That is Srimati Radhika with Krishna and those in her Parikars, her associates, they have the most intimate knowledge. So if you want to know from them, you have theoretical knowledge, practical knowledge. We want practical knowledge. (coughs) Yes? This means science of self-realization. Science of self-realization, this becomes practical knowledge. You want practical knowledge of Krishna? Right? What is the... How does Krishna's hand feel? Yes? Can you imagine? How does lotus feet feel? Yeah, serve his lotus feet. You want this knowledge? So here you start by serving Takaji. Therefore we do our practice, our sadhana. And what is the goal of life? Actually, the goal of life is not to know Krishna. You can believe it? The goal, goal of life is not to know God. It's true? The goal of life is to know God? What's the goal of life? So many goals of life according to so many levels of different ideas. But our Guru Maharaj, our Mahaprabhu, he teaches, the goal of life is not to know Krishna, it's to love Krishna. Krishna Prem. And when you love Krishna, then you can know Krishna completely. Otherwise, your knowledge of Krishna is what? Many demons also know Krishna. They think, oh, Krishna is this person who is always opposing my desires. So they try to kill Krishna. This is their knowledge of Krishna. But how do we know Krishna? Through shelter of Harinam. So we chant Harinam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. 
all the Sastra, all Veda, Puran, everything, the conclusion is Harinam. Ramayan, Mahabharat, conclusion is Harinam, 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 Eva Kevlam, Kalo, Nasteva, 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 Gatilanyata. But is Harinam enough? Gurudev then said, without Sharanagati. So now we're on the third question. <laughs> See, everything is in line. <laughs> One, two, three. Third question. Gurudev said, without Sharanagati, what is our Harinam? Gurudev said, Gurudev said, you can chant and chant. He said, one lakh, two lakh, three lakh every day. Imagine. I know some people who chant three lakh every day. How long? They say, oh, five, six hours, like this. Five, six hours chanting three lakhs. How? Like a like a possessed mad person? <laughs> Pulling the beads like a race car. Like NASCAR, Japa. 200 mile per hour Japa. <laughs> 500 laps. One, two, three. Like racing a horse. You see some people how they chant, right? You, you have to see some temples, you know? It's like everybody has their own, and some people, it's like, you know, you start getting like, like they say, you know, it gets like some possession. Nam possession. This is very good. Chant Harinam. But Gurudev said three kinds of Harinam. Nama Parad, Nama Bash, Nam. Are we chanting with relationship? Are we chanting with realization? Are we chanting purely? Or are we doing semblance of the name? Or are we just making offenses to the name? But Nam is so merciful. It said, like for Christians, we say, don't take the Lord's name in vain. We say the same thing. But Krishna is so merciful. He says, even if you do this, no problem. This is Krishna. Krishna says, if you make fun of me, saying my name, no problem. He says, I like people who make fun of me. I prefer that, he says. Why? Oh, Radha Manpu is coming also. Jai. Krishna says, Gurudev was saying this also, that I prefer the gopis who are abusing me. Jai Radha Manpu Ji. Sit, sit, sit. <clears throat> Krishna said, I prefer the gopis when they are rebuking me and abusing me. Oh, you are Durta, you are a cheater. Durta means crooked. You are Lampat, means you're debauchi. Nutkat, Nanda Kishore, Natavar. Naughty Krishna. And Krishna says, Oh, for me, this is like nectar. Why? Because they're chanting with relationship and with love, with mamata, with possessiveness. Even Gali. Gali means abuses. For Krishna, this is very dear. He said, others are chanting, Om Sasra Sirsa Purusa Sasra Ksha Sastrapat. He says, because there's no Sambandha, no relationship, no sweetness, this is not so sweet to me. So therefore, Sharanagati, surrender, then Harinam has power. So Gurudev said, Without Harinam, what is Krishna consciousness? But then he says, without Sharanagati, what is Harinam? Therefore, the first limb of Bhakti by Rupa Goswami is Sharanagati. Pratamam Guru Parashrai, first Sharanagati, surrender. But they said, without Sharanagati, what is our Bhakti? Only like a, a game. Preparation. You know, like people, like sometimes kids play house. Oh, I'll go to work, here's my briefcase, and you'll be my wife, and you will cook something. This is not real work. Why? Game is fun. Like little kids, they love to do work. They love to do seva. If you give them the broom, they'll sweep. If you give them something to pick up, they'll do it. But as, as soon as they realize it's work, they'll stop. <laughs> right? As long as it's a game, they'll do it. Oh, it's work. You really have to do it. Your boss is going to yell at you, and this is going to happen, that's going to happen. So the idea is play, playground bhakti. Right, Maharaj? Some kind of bhakti is playground bhakti. It's good. Why? Some platform. But you want real bhakti? 
Dharma, Sunustita, Pungsa, Vishwakshena, Katasya, Notpadiya, Dyadiyatim, Shrama Evahi Kevalam. Hard work, what result? So many kinds of bhakti are hard work, what result? It's very difficult. Dharma, Sunustita, Pungsa, Vishwakshena, Katasya, Notpadiya, Dyadiyatim, Shrama Evahi Kevalam. Ved Vyas in Bhagavatam writes, you may be doing all kinds of dharma, all kinds of religious activities, all kinds of moral activities, but if your foundation is not right, if your understanding is not right, if you're not connected, what is it? Labor. More labor. Hard work. So therefore, Gurudev said, Sharnagati. Sadanga Sharnagati hoibe jahar tahara prartana shune srinanda kumar. So Shampru asked this very nice question. Sharnagati is simple. Sharanagati, there are different levels. The highest Sharanagati is what? What is the highest Sharanagati, you know? What is Mahaprabhu's eighth verse, Shikshastakam? Ashlishava padaratang pinastumama darishnang marama haktang kurotuva yata tata virudhatu lampato mat prana natastasa evana paraha. You know the highest kind of surrender? Srimati Radhika has this mood of love for Krishna. Oh Krishna, whether you accept me, with love or discard me, neglect me. O oh Krishna, whether you embrace me or trample me, I am yours. I am yours. I know no one but you. You are my Lord and Master. You are my beloved. Pure love. This is therefore Sharanagati is the seed, Shraddha is the seed to pray in divine love. How can you have Sharanagati without Shraddha? Therefore, Gurudev would say, first develop some shraddha, then sharanagati. So it's interesting. You have different stages of shraddha. That means development of faith. First, some gentle komala shraddha, delicate faith. Then sadhu sangha, devotee association. Then this can lead you to real sharanagati. But highest sharanagati means like that. And how do we apply that? With Guru and Vaishnavas. There's a story of uh, Srila Bharati Maharaj and Siddha Surup Brahmachari. Siddha Surup Brahmachari, Bharati Maharaj was chastising him strongly. And then he wanted to go preaching again with, Bhakti, with him. And Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada called him. Oh, he said, Oh, Guru Mar, uh, at that time, like his Guru Maharaj, he said, Please, I want to go traveling and preaching with Srila Bharati Maharaj. Oh, you want to go? I heard he was very heavily chastising you. Oh, this was his affection. Why? Someone who doesn't have any affection for me, they neglect me. If there's affection, then there may be chastisement. <laughs> Those who are parents may know this, yeah? Spicy love. Chastisement. Sanyasi Mars ever chastised? A little bit? One time? <laughs> if, if we're lucky, Sanyasi Mars will chastise all of us. Yes. What are you doing? Bogus sadhu. Ah, how many rounds you're chanting every day? Mm. One day we'll be lucky. One day we pray. I think you two receive like this. No, no, no. We're praying. One day Sanyasi Maharaj will be affectionate and give us his. There's a word, uh, Bharatan. The gopis are chastising Krishna, and Krishna says their chastisement for me is more sweet than all the Veda prayers. Krishna says this for the gopis in the Sastra. The gopis' chastisement to me is so sweet to me. Why? Because it's with so much love. So this sharanagati means affection, actually. Sharanagati is like a form of affection. Like you have a parent and you have a relationship, and then there's a natural bond. And when Vaishnavas see that mood, then... Loving chastisement may be there. Why you look at Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada and Param Gurudev? All his disciples, you would say, ah, very respectfully, and offer pranam. Das Osmi, I am your servant. Only Param Gurudev would say, tui. Tui in Bengali means very intimate, and also if it's not to someone like your child or your beloved, it's considered an insult. Like you may be getting on a rickshaw, hey, tui. Hey, Tum. Tum is in, like informal, but tui means very like either intimate or your child or your beloved. 
Put box in the profile with the dress button with it like that. And sometimes you would chastise. But Sharanagati means Guru Vaishnava may chastise you. But if anyone else criticizes you, they'll say, hey, who do you think you are? King, son, prince. Only king can chastise the prince. If any ordinary person tries to chastise the prince, the king will say, oh, come, come. I have some medicine for you. You want to chastise my son? We've seen many times. In, we have our temple. Now we have eight, nine brahmacharis, sannyasis, radhikuns, 50, 60, 80, 90. And sometimes people come, hey, this brahmachari this, hey, this brahmachari that, hey, sleeping in the room this, hey, not doing this, hey, not working there. But hey, who are you? Karmi, bogus person, useless, rascal, dog. <laughs> who do you think you are? I know one person, big businessman, multi, multi, multi millionaire. Krorpati in Hindi, right? And the sadhu has no money, no bank account, nothing, but managing big temple, hundreds of devotees. People think, how is it possible? This is our Prabhuji. People think, how is it possible managing? And now we have Temple Germany and Temple Russia and Temple England and Temple Brazil and Temple New York and everywhere. And no name anywhere, no power, nothing. Spiritual power. And people think, with so much money, so much wealth, I cannot make one temple. How is it possible? Why? This is real sadhu. So one time this person came, big, big wealthy person, and was trying to chastise the brahmacharis. And do this and do that. And we were doing kirtan in the temple room. Big kirtan, running around, dancing, jumping. We had big temple room, double this, triple this size. Remember? And they said, hey, during arti, they should just stand like Gandharva. <laughs> Very gently sway and no problem. Don't dance, don't jump. Why? My marble is very expensive. What if you hurt my marble? Don't be like Ram's army, dancing in Kirtan. And so many ideas. Oh, you should not feed them nice prasad. You should only give them muli and alu, sabji, and one chapati and no ghee every day. This was their mood. Why? Eh, Brahmacharis, what work are they doing? People can say, hey, why don't go get a job? Why are you not working? Millions of lifetimes we're working. Ant is working. Bird is working. Everyone is working. We are also working. Who are we working for? This is also a needed profession. We are serving Krishna. What are you doing? Why not working? 80 hours a week. Some people think like that. But our life, we are not here to serve Maya. We are here to serve Krishna. You are serving Maya, we are serving Krishna. Krishna is so kind and merciful. He'll say, oh, for me, no problem. Swalpam apyasya dharmasya atrayate mahato bayat. If you want to serve me, Krishna says, just a little bit. Swalpam, little bit. Patram, pushpam, give me one tulsi leaf. Your work is complete. Krishna says like that. Water tulasi with a little water. No problem. Give me a flower sometime. No problem. Some water if you like. First stage of realization of Krishna is that he doesn't need anything from us. But if you give him something, you build relationship and Krishna says, this is enough. This is our work. He says, you may do all material work. You'll always be indebted. You'll never be free of this. Why? Earth, nature, sky, parents, society, family, everyone is taking care of you. You have debt, debt, debt. But Sarvatmana Sharanya Mukundam. If you surrender to Krishna, this is Sharanagati. Sarvatmana Sharanyam Gato Mukunda. No debt. All is gone. And Krishna says, then you'd think you'd have to work hard for Krishna. What does he say? No, just give me a leaf. One tulsi leaf. Krishna says, enough. Krishna says in Sastra, in the scripture, it said that if you offer a palmful of water, Ganga water, and a few tulsi leaves, it says, you purchase me. And Lakshmi Devi, the goddess of fortune, says, whoa, 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 hold on. What are you saying, Krishna? You imagine Bhagavan, Krishna is saying, you can purchase me with a few leaves of tulsi? Imagine, is there any business you can do that? You can go to Microsoft and say, I'll work for you for a few days, but then you have to sell yourself to me, Bill Gates, Amazon, Jeff Bezos, you are, I own you. Elon Musk, I'll work for you at Twitter and you offer yourself to me. 
But Krishna, the Supreme Lord, says, you have to offer me one tulsi leaf, two tulsi leaf, and I offer myself to you. That is Sharanagati. So who are you surrendering to? You are surrendering or Krishna is surrendering? John. Who is going to surrender? You are surrendering, Krishna is surrendering. So really, this is Krishna saying, if you want to work for me, I work for you. In the Gita, Krishna says, whatever, if you want to, as much, you want to surrender to me anyway, anyhow, I offer myself to you, same way. Kubja. Look at this example. Surpanaka tried to come to Ram. It's a beautiful story. And Ram was married to Sita. And Ram said, I have offered myself to Sita. I have offered myself to Sita. I am Dharma Patni. I, Dharma Patni. I cannot be unfaithful to Sita, only one wife. Ek pati vrat, ek patni vrat. Surpanika wanted to marry Ram, but she was a rakshasa, a demon lady. And when Ram didn't accept, she tried to eat Sita. Sita is Ram beloved. You've heard the story? Okay, good news story for Kalindi. So you can imagine that this lady who was sister of Ravan. So Ravan is the great king, demon king, who kidnapped Sita from Ram. And so first the sister came and she saw Ram and he was so beautiful, so attracted that she thought she had desire for him, love for him, lust for him, different forms. Oh, Ram, I will be with you. What happened? What happened? Ram accepted, anyhow or another. <laughs> Long story. But Ram, did he accept or not? First, he protected. Yes, she tried to eat Sita. Why? Sita's in my way. I want to become Sita. So how do I become Sita? Get rid of Sita. How to become Guru Sevak? Find Guru Sevak and kill them. <laughs> this is people's idea. I will eat Sita. And then I will be Sita. But anyhow, after the next life, next life, she became very dear to Krishna. No problem. Magical. She became Kubja. She was protected. And then afterwards, Krishna accepted. She was an old crippled lady, hunchback, and Krishna, she gave him some service, some ointments, and Krishna straightened her back and accepted her. So see how Krishna is merciful. You go to Krishna and try to kill someone dear to Krishna, even then, Krishna is so merciful. You try to hurt Krishna, you know what Krishna says? Uh, this is one verse, but there's the verse about Putana. Oho bakiyam stanakala kutam. Oho means how wonderful that Putana, who was putting poison on her breast, sent by the king Kamsa, to poison Krishna, to kill Krishna. And Krishna accepted her as his mother. Oh, you're my mother closed his eyes and embraced her and said, oh, come to me to Vrindavan and be like my mother. How merciful is Krishna? Therefore it said, Kam vadhyalum sharanam brajema. Who is more merciful than Krishna? Therefore Krishna doesn't see. You should think, Sharanagati is what? But Krishna doesn't think, who are you? You are good or bad. People think, I am a bad person. I am not a good person. I have this bad quality, that bad quality. But you're not putting poison on your breast and trying to give Krishna. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Vrindavan, you doing? <laughs> Mangala Sri Guru Goda. Yes, and I will put some poison here. So Krishna will not accept you. So sincerely serving all day, all night, Krishna will not accept you. He is accepting Putana as his mother. Why? That is her position. It's a long history. Before Bali Maharaj's granddaughter, she had this desire for Vamandev, like mother. So Krishna gave her that. So Sharanagati means you should accept what is your real constitutional position. You are ready to accept that? Ami Krishna Nitya Das. There's a beautiful in our Shikshastakam Bhajans. What's our next question? I'm getting ready. Load it on the docket. Right? I have to load the next question. I forget the next question, but I'll load it. How to clean your ears, okay. <laughs> so first, there's a beautiful verse in, in the Shikshastakam Bhajans that Amituhu padadasi tuhu mora sukarasi alingiya kura mora sate 
that the, the singing and expressing the verse of real Sharanagati, topmost Sharanagati, like this Shikshastakam verse, this is Sharanagati. Beginning Sharanagati and Sharanagati. Beginning is in the end, end is in the beginning. What is the end? Complete, deepmost relationship. Like marriage, this is Sharanagati. So Parkiya Ras, what is real marriage? Real marriage means I am yours, you are mine. That is Sharanagati. Yes? So therefore, Gurudev would say, chant Mahamantra, but you may chant one lakh, two lakh, three lakh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, like a race car. But without Sharanagati, what is this value? So when you are chanting, what are you chanting? You're just like a tape recorder. A tape recorder can chant more rounds than you. Push play and put it on two, two X. 8x, 10x. Chat GPT, chant 3 lakh Harinam every day. <laughs> no, chant, 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 chant. So chanting is supremely purifying. Chanting is supremely auspicious. But when you chant with Sharnagati, then that japa becomes very powerful. Then quickly, Namabash and Shuddha Nam will come. Otherwise, Koti Janma Jadi Shravana Kirtan. Tabudhinapai Krishna Pade Premadhan. Koti Janma. Lifetime after lifetime, you can chant without relationship. So ultimately, Sharanagati means I am yours, you are mine, according to your rasa. So therefore, when you realize what is our, when you can, when can you surrender? Arajay Shangshara Mor Nahilage Bhalo Kahajay Krishna Hari Chinta Vishalo. No longer am I satisfied and happy living in this material world without you, Krishna. Oh, Krishna, I am yours. Then you are mine. So I am yours means, oh, I will offer you to Lassi leaf. Then, Krishna, you are mine. Then how can he escape? Krishna can escape? Not possible. Kalindi said, he is in my heart. How can he escape? You may run and run and run, but where will you go? He's already here. So realize your constitutional position. What is your swarup? What is your relation with Krishna? Stai bhav. Ecstatic relationship with Krishna. What is your relationship? That is Sharanagati. You realize that? Then. So, okay, Vrinda, no problem. We want to know Krishna. That means we want to, and how? So, we have to clean our ears. <laughs> yes? What is cleaning the ears? Shrindvatam Svakata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana Ridyanta Stohiya Badrani Virunoti Shurit Satam Cleaning of our ears. This is our process. Gurudev said, you can chant Harinam. You can know Krishna is God. Good. But without chanting Harinam, what is the benefit? You can chant Harinam, but without Sharanagati, what is the benefit? You can do Sharanagati, but without hearing how you realize real Sharanagati. Embody it. So Harikata is one method. What is Harikata? I'll tell you. What is Harikata? Different levels of Harikata. There's Namapada, there's Namabash, there's Shudanam. Impure name, purest name. Depends who's chanting it. Shri Kamar, this is one of the, I did this from Bengali to English. I translated this in maybe 2005, 6, 7, like that. So, Trivikar Mars said this verse, Sharanga Sharanagati Hoibe Jaha Tahara Prartana this Braj Krishna, highest, sweetest, loving, sweet Krishna, playing in the forest of Vrindavan with Radharani, he will hear your prayer. How? When? So Trivikamar said, someone may take the harmonium. Yes? Like Maharaj was saying this morning. And then 20 minutes they can do Sare Gama Pa, Sare Sare Gama Gama Pada 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 Ni, Nisa Gama Gama Pada Nisa. And then you can say, uh, and then you're looking this side and looking that side. Do they hear my tone? Do they hear my voice? Like Narad Muni, there's one funny story. Narad Muni was trying to attract one lady, goddess of fortune, and he asked Vishnu, please give me a nice face, very beautiful face, so that this woman will be attracted to me and become my mate, my lover. And so Lord Vishnu said, no problem. I'll give you what is very auspicious for you. What is good for you. He thought, what is good for me is what I'm asking. You've heard this story? Narad Muni said, this is a long story. Narad Muni said, I have conquered over Maya. 
He told Lord Shiva, I have conquered Maya. And Lord Shiva said, okay, you can tell me this, but don't tell your father, Lord Brahma. Ah, what do you know? So he went to Lord Brahma, I have conquered Maya. You yourself have not conquered Maya. I have conquered Maya. Lord Brahma said, okay, no problem. Don't tell Lord Vishnu. He will trick you, cheat you. You don't know what will happen. No, no, no. He went to Lord Vishnu. You have Lakshmi Devi. You have Goddess of Fortune. You're always enjoying your consorts. I have conquered Maya. Vishnu said, yeah, no problem. Then Narad Muni went preaching, traveling, and he saw a Swayamvar, marriage ceremony. Beautiful lady, princess, goddess of fortune, was going to choose her husband. People think India means arranged marriage. But sometimes the girl arranges the marriage. This is the Vedic histories. In India, it's not so that only ladies were always getting arranged marriage. Sometimes when it was necessary, when it was helpful, then they would do that. But if it was a princess, she would arrange the marriage. And all the kings and all the princes would come. And so they imagine there's... Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of princes and beautiful, everyone's waiting. And Narad Muni saw, great sage Narad. He said, oh, very beautiful, lovely lady. Maya came, why? Pride came, then Maya came. So he went to Lord Vishnu and said, oh, Vishnu, I've always worshipped you with selfless, unconditional love. Now today I'm asking you one boon. I've always worshipped you with love. Now one boon. What is that boon? Give me a face like yours. You're so beautiful. Oh, yes, I will give what is favorable for you. Okay. So he went back, and everywhere this lady was walking with the garland, he would walk in front of her. Pick me, pick me. And she would kind of smile and go away. And after a while, she would start to laugh, and other people were laughing. saying, what are they laughing at me for? And then all of a sudden, Lord Vishnu came on Garuda, and she saw him and gave the garland, and he, she sat there, and she went to Vaikuntha. And Narada Muni thought, what is this? Why? He cheated me. He took her. And then someone said, oh, beautiful monkey face. He said, you should look in the water. Look in your reflection. He looked and he had a monkey face. And Vishnu said, I will give you what is favorable for you. Why this Maya madness has come. You have to recognize this. Ahankar, false ego. Purush Bhav, I am controller. I am enjoyer. I am God's incarnation in this world. Yes, you are God, Vivek. I will be God. Vindavan, you will be God. Everyone wants to be God. This is America. We want to serve God, but we think, same time I'm serving God, I should gradually collect everything, all these God points, and then I'll be God. So, the discussion was that, what are we talking about? <laughs> Cleaning the ears. Yes, how to clean the ears. Srinvata Svakata Krishna. RJ Sangsar Mor Nahilage Bhalo Kaha J Krishna Heri Echinta Vishalo. This is Narad Muni following. Narad Muni said, When you realize that I no longer want to enjoy this world like the master and controller, I've tried long enough. I've tried to be enjoyer, I've tried to be controller long enough, long enough. Now, RJ Sangsar Mor Nahilage Bhalo. Bhalo in Bengali means Bhalo Bhashi. I love it. Bhalo bashi. Ami bhalo bashi. So, ar nahi bhalo. It's, I don't love it anymore. I'm trying to enjoy and I'm only suffering. So, now I'm thinking, where is my real beloved Krishna? Where can I find Krishna? Ka jao, ka pao, brajindra nandan. Brajindra nandan, vina fate modaman, kahare, kahibo, kiba duk. Where can I find my beloved Krishna? Where can I find Krishna? Then you're searching for Krishna. And then you can follow Mahaprabhu. Mukunda, Sevan, Vrata. Then you take a vow of spiritual life. Then you practice spiritual life. So we have to follow that path of spiritual life here. Therefore, we are traveling. Why? Where is Krishna? He's here? Oh, he's here? He is everywhere. How do we find him everywhere? Sharanagati means how to find Krishna in your heart and how to find him in the heart of every living entity and how to find him in his own eternal abode. Therefore, there's Astakali Alila. Krishna's Eightfold Daily Pastimes. But for cleaning your ears, you must hear, hear, hear. How to hear? Anyhow hear. It's two stories. One was a very foolish person. One king asked, how to understand who is a fool and who is intelligent? And he had two corpses, skeletons. None of the sages could answer. None of the ministers could answer. So one sage came, like a madman, and he brought a piece of straw, and he put it through one ear, the skeleton, and it came out the other ear. He said, this man is a fool. Anything he hears in one ear goes out the other. 
And he went to the other skeleton and he put the straw and then it went down. He said, this man was intelligent. He would hear it and bring it in his heart. This is hearing. So Vaishnavas would say, hearing means, but we may hear and forget, no problem. Gradually, like ghee, something will stick. This is Kali Yuga. This age, we are not so intelligent. Hearing, but actually this is more fortunate. Why? Because if you can follow a little bit, then this is success. So Prabhuji said, hearing means following. Yes? We've, Gurudev said this many times. We'll say it one more time. Vrindavan knows what I'm going to say. You want to say it? Let me say it. Oh, will you bring me a glass of water? Will you please bring me a glass of water? You understood? Yes, yes, yes. I took a note also. Will you please bring me a glass of water? I took notes, see? No, no, please bring me a glass of water. Yes, yes, yes. Very important. So hearing means following. If you hear, you should follow. Then you can get the result. But Prairie says, no problem. If you hear, you don't follow. No problem. Still is the benefit. You should hear. Anyhow, you should hear. So Gurudev said, if you want to surrender and you want to chant Harinam, then you must hear from Vaishnavas. This is more potent. Gurudev said, listen, listen, listen. This is why spiritual life, when we're a baby, it's like we need bedtime story every day. This is our bedtime stories. And then morning tea stories. Not tea. Morning time, we should hear about Krishna. Evening time, we should hear about Krishna. Day time, we should hear about Krishna. This is our diet. What is our spiritual food? So we're talking about Harikata. That's the point. Harikata is not just sound or instructions. There's Namapara, there's Namabash, there's Shuddha Nam. So there's, nam, there's Harikata, Abbas, Shuddha Harikata. This is called Shabda Brahma, transcendental sound. So Harikata is more than just knowledge. Don't think Harikata is knowledge. Don't think Harikata is information. Harikata is potency. You understand? Whoever is the personality, whatever potency they have, they can give that in spiritual potency through Harikata. So we hear from Srila Gurudev, you're hearing every day. Gurudev is injecting this transcendental potency into your Atma, directly into your soul. Some people may be very intellectually intelligent. Very, very redundant, right? They may be very intelligent. Gurudev said, you, you can use your intelligence to hang yourself. Gurudev said like this for one great preacher. Gurudev said, your, why his sevak was telling us this story. Gurudev said, your intelligence will be like a rope that you hang yourself with. Very intelligent, very proud. So Harikata is not speaking to your intelligence. Yes, to some level is there for new people, but sadhu, real guru, they're speaking directly to your atma. This is called the process of self-realization. Gurudev therefore said today, you can read Bhagavatam, but what will you get? You have to hear Bhagavatam. Then who to hear from? Gopanandini Mataji. <laughs> hear from Sadhu. Gopanandini Mataji, Sadhu. Hear from Sadhu. J Bhagavata Pare. Granta Bhagavat, Bhakta Bhagavat. So who to hear from? You want to clean your ears. That's why we're saying clean the ears means hear. Then gradually this will take away all the earwax. And then it will go inside. No problem. Like a baby in a cradle, what can it do? Guru Gaga. It doesn't have to do anything. Just Gurudev said, you stay in association of sadhus, this is your Paramasiddhi. You can get supreme perfection through this. Shuddha Bhakata Charanarenu Bhajana Anukul Bhakata Seva Paramasiddhi Prem Latikara Mula. Association is the key to success. Bhaktistu Bhagavad Bhakta Sangena Parijayate. By association, you can achieve everything. Sat Sangha Prapyate Pumbi Sukriter Purva Sanchitai. Yes, so alone, like Pallad Maharaj, you can go off on your own. I will do bhajan, I'll be bhajanandi. What will you get? In Hindi, we say ganta, nothing. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastri Koi. Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hoi. And then what is sadhu? Sadhu means who is speaking about Krishna, who is hearing about Krishna, who is chanting about Krishna, who is chanting Harinam. That is sadhu. Sadhu understanding is also tricky. Many kinds of sadhu. But Harikata is more than just words. Harikata is more than information. Otherwise, anyone can open a book and speak Harikata. No. Anyone can take a book and say, I'll give Harikata. This is Harikata. This is Arikata. Ari means enemy. You're not speaking Harikata. You're speaking Arikata. 
speaking against God, against Krishna. Why? Inside your heart is poison. It's not Harikata. I remember Shrimati Shaman and Mataji used to tell us all the time. Oh, you're speaking Harikata, they would tell her. So I'm not speaking Harikata. Gurudev is speaking Harikata. So what is our mission here? Gurudev's Kata, that is our banner, that is our flag, that is our mission. And then following his footsteps, you practice, you realize, and you preach, then this is Harikata. Otherwise, this is practice, no problem. But Harikata is spiritual potency. Satam Prasanga Mama Virya Samvido. If you sit in association of like Prabhuji or great Vaishnavas or someone who has practiced in their life, I'll t- give you an example. One time a lady went to a great guru and said, please, my son is diabetic. He only eats sweets. He won't eat anything but sweets. Sugar, sugar, sugar. And he's dying because of it. Please ask him to stop eating sweets so he can follow. He said, come back in three days. Why? You are great and you can powerful. You can instruct him. No, no, no. Come back in three days. Three days later she came and he said, oh boy, this is very bad for you. You'll get sick from this. You'll be uh, you're unhealthy and you'll die young. You should stop eating all these sweets. The boy stopped from that moment. She said, oh, Guru Maharaj, please tell me why you waited three days. He said, because first I had to stop eating sweets. How can I tell the boy not to eat sweets if I'm eating sweets? Practice then preach. Otherwise it has no potency. So Harikata means from the wealth of your bhajan, your austerities, your service. Then you give anything. Then this is powerful. So Harikata is not intellectual. Harikata is an injection of the potency of the sadhu to awaken you in your spiritual life. That is Harikata. Therefore, again, you don't want that? Therefore, what is powerful? Your sitting and your sadhana is powerful? That is the question. Your sadhana is powerful? Your austerity is powerful? Or that potency of the realized soul giving that powerful potency, Atma Jagara and self-realization, that awakening your soul, that is more powerful. So we are in the dream of material life. How are you going to wake up from the dream? By your effort. So Sadhu Sangha, Association of Devotees, then they're speaking Harikata. This is like ring alarm clock, spiritual alarm clock. Wake up. Jeev Jago, Jeev Jago. So therefore we have to hear. Okay? And ultimately what we want to hear about when we chant Harinam, if we want relation to Bhagavan Krishna, Brajendra Nandan, then what is Krishna's pastimes? In Chaitanya Charitamrita it says day and night Krishna is absorbed in his blissful Leela. Loving pastimes, day and night. Ratri dine kodiye kridan. Day and night Krishna is playing with his beloveds. So gradually, Mahaprabhu said, Nirantar karanam sankirtanar kurubaishnav sevan. You should chant harinam, you should serve sadhus, you've been in good association, but to those who are more advanced, what did he say? Antare nishta bhaye lo kodi vyavahar. Develop your internal relationship, your internal faith, dedication. Work in society as you must. Bhaya Loki You have to learn this art. Learn how to walk amongst rogues and this and that, everyone. But Antare Nishta, keep your faith very deep. Bhajan Kata, very deep. Nakahibo Jatatata, very deep. What is your bhajan? Keep it very protected. Then develop that. Then Amani Madad Krishnam Sadalabe. Honoring others, not desiring honor. Chanting Krishnam. Then what should you do? When we're chanting, what are we doing? Like Pran Govinda Prabhu, chanting and Ratri Dine Manasi Seva Kuriven. Amani Madad Hoy Krishna Nam Sadalabe, Braje Radha Krishna, Manasi. What, what Krishna? Gurudev said, not this Krishna, that Krishna. Braj Krishna. This is Bhagavat essence. Remember that Krishna in Braj. Meditate on that Krishna in Braj. And Dire Dire, gradually you should realize that thing by the mercy of Guru and Vaishnava. So being Sevak, Sharanagati, this is the best way. This most mercy comes because this is following especially. So to bring this question, we'll end with this one, okay? I think we've done the rounds almost, right? Pran's question and Brinda's question. Conclusion, yes? So by all of these processes, the beauty is we can achieve that ultimate conclusion of our spiritual life. Why we approach Guru and Vaishnav? They offer us this opportunity Realize, what is your constitutional position? That means, what is your soul's nature and position? Yes, Brinda, you know? So gradually, therefore, you chant your mantras. Who am I? Ke ami kene amar jare tapatrai. Ke ami is the spiritual life. 
Que ami, who am I? I am doctor, lawyer, I am man, woman, I am this, I am that, I am brahmachari, I am sannyasi, I am grahasta. This is all maya, 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 illusion, temporary. You can use it for service, but don't identify too deeply with it. I am big sannyasi. If you don't bow before me, you know what will happen to you. Bogus person. <laughs> this, is, this is not our identity. Our identity is, what is our identity, you know? Our identity is friendship, service, no formality, no... Yes, respect, this is like one game. This is important. Respect is very important. Honor is very important. But eventually you'll be, go beyond this. And then you see between Guru Vaishnavas, this is like a very loving, sweet way of their relationship. I've seen Gurudev and Prabhuji, like Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada and Param Gurudev, how they had that relationship. I've seen like that with Gurudev and Prabhuji. So sweet. Gurudev came back from his tour one time, Mathura. And Prabhuji was doing Guru Puja Arti, the ghee lamp. And Madan Prabhu was there, and many brahmacharis were there, Takaji, Radha Vinod Bihari, so sweet. And everyone was there, many, many people. And Gurudev was very simply, sweetly sitting there and just very grave. And then Prabhuji was doing Guru Puja with the Arti lamp. And Gurudev looked, and Prabhuji looked. And that eye connection, this was called love. You can see it, right? When you see someone look at each other with real love, this is transcendental love. Like Prabhupada said to Gurudev, our relationship is based on spontaneous love. So you see that, that is called real love. That is real respect. What is more respectful than love? If there is love, you can tolerate anything. If there is no love, you cannot tolerate anything. Yes? Love can give you tolerance. Love can give you humility. That's why Srimati Radhika says, I have not even a drop of love, so she has so much humility. So if we want to achieve all those things, Trinada, Peace, and each and road, we have to develop love. And how to develop love? You have to develop sambandha, relationship. Therefore, as a sevak, you can develop that. Therefore, it's said, Vishrambena Guru Seva. You should develop service to Guru like an intimate friend. Gurudev was saying this the other day. He said, you should think of Guru like a mirror. Like in the mirror, you're not shy about anything. It's just yourself. So that is, I am yours, you are mine. So what is the question? So we should think, Radha Krishna's relationship is like that. So how can we go towards that? Gradually, gradually, not jumping. They said, don't jump like a wild animal. I've been looking today, like the last week, I've been going very quickly, scanning, because I already proofread, so now it's going over all the books. So I've been focusing on what verses does he say? Over and over. Ado shraddha, ado sadhu sangha, ta bhajana kriya. This verse comes again and again. Why? You should follow spiritual life one step, one stage at a time. But to your question, what is the conclusion? What is the conclusion? Nitya siddha bhav. Nitya siddha bhavasya prakritam hridi sadhyata. By chanting your Gayatri mantras, chanting Harinam, association with sadhus, kirtan, you have to be patient and understand that all of this is just the this is like the motions of your spiritual life. You're following through this sadhana, tapasya, routine, like the Goswamis, very steadily, but awaken your relationship, your sambandha. Therefore, when you do arati, what is my sambandha? You should pray to Radharani for this. Oh, Radharani, what is my relationship with you? Oh, Krishna, what is my relationship with you? Oh, Mangala Gita, what is my relationship, your relationship with Krishna? You have to pray like this. When you do art, you don't think, oh, this is my seva, I have to do it, otherwise will people like me or not? And I have to do my art. I have to do, Vrindavan Prabhu is saying, don't do any Takaji seva unless you do it with love. Love means like desire. You want to do it, right? Otherwise, this is not a game and this is not a chore. Krishna said, you give me one tulsi leaf, you purchase me. But then he says in the end, but with love. You give me one tosi leaf, I sell myself to you. Means I am yours. And you are mine. I offer myself to you. But then he says in the end, Vikrite with bhakti. Patram pushpam phalam. Yome bhaktiya prayachati. With devotion, you offer it. Then I give myself to you. So that can lead us to realization. What is my rasa with Krishna? Sakya ras, vatsalya ras, madhurya ras. Primary. Like the cowherd boys, or like the parents, like Madhya Shoda, like Nanda Baba, like their associates, or like the servants and associates of Srimati Radhika. 
All these categories are there in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. So you can study this. Okay, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu is a good study book for you. Nectar of Devotion. And then you can understand this question because your topic is another two-hour topic at least. But Sakya Ras is very sweet. Madhurya Ras is very sweet. Everything is sweet. What is most sweet is what is your nature. That is most sweet for you. But primary for us is service to Srimati Radhika. This is the desire of Mahaprabhu. Guru they said again, 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 again. Sva Bhakti Shriyam. What is the beauty of that love of Srimati Radhika and her associates? That is the ultimate attainment possible for the living entities. According to your nature, Guru said that is fixed. This is the conclusion. You understand? That is fixed. He said, Madhu Yashoda will never become Madhu Yaras. And Sakas will never become Madhu Yaras. And Madhu Yaras will never become Shantaras. It's not possible. Staibab means it's fixed. So, Guru Dev taught like that again and again. And he said, by your chanting of your Harinam, by your chanting of your mantra, Sadhu, Sangha, Seva, all these things, then you can realize that. That is the fruit of your bhajan. Therefore, it said, Nitta Sirasya Bhavasya Prakritam Riti Sadhita. How can you realize that in your heart? Yes? Therefore, we do our sadhan. Deya Tulasi Tila, Deha Samarpinu. I'm offering myself, but, oh Lord, you know, what are my good qualities? What do I have? Really, I'm offering myself to you. Everything is upon your desire. Please accept me. So, Kali Yuga is very easy. We're very lucky. Krishna is so merciful. It said even a bird once was shot by a hunter and it did three parikramas of temple and then it left its body and went to the spiritual world. Sounds nice, huh? <laughs> Shoot me, somebody! <laughs> I'll just hobble around the temple and here you are. <laughs> One time someone was doing arti with a ghee lamp and they put the arti lamp there and a mouse wanted to eat the ghee and the butter but it caught on fire and it was jumping around the altar and it died and got liberation. Very simple mood, no complicated. It was simple, so it went back to Godhead. We are very complex beings, so it's not so easy to go back to Godhead. <laughs> the, the mouse, the bird, we're very simple-hearted. <laughs> no problem. So we should pray, how can I become simple-hearted? Saralahita hi Vaishnavata. Simplicity is Vaishnavism. So if we can become simple-hearted, simple like an innocent baby, no problem. Krishna, like you see some devotees, their children, oh, Krishna is mine. Gurudev is mine. Mahaprabhu is mine. Radharani is mine. I saw someone posted this the other day. Oh, I'm just worshiper of Mahaprabhu. Yes, very good. So gradually we can come to this realization. And then this is the platform for our faith, for everything. So I am Krishna's eternal servant. He is my eternal beloved. And that is just reality. How do we realize that? That is our process of spiritual life. Okay. Any conclusions? Kirtan Prabhu? After. Okay. Kalindi? So, how many questions? We, we did a whole circle, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, seven, seven. Radharan Prabhu? Okay, so tomorrow we're going to New Braj. We should think, why am I going to New Braj? Why? To serve my Gurudev. How will he be happy? Why am I staying here? To serve my Gurudev. How will he be happy? Why am I doing anything? Who is going to give you the fruit of your spiritual aspiration? That is Guru. Guru Krishna Prashade Bhai. Guru is giving you the mercy of Krishna. Jay Prashade Pure Sarva As. By his mercy, all desires can be fulfilled. Yasya Prashadat Bhagavat Prashadat. His mercy, then Krishna's mercy is there. So why we are going? Why are we doing anything? Why do we wake up and go from the room to the temple and the temple to there and there and there? But if we can't do that, no problem. The best thing is just Stick around. <laughs> no problem, right? That's what we've learned from Prabhuji, right? If you could say, the essence of all our knowledge, right? Sannyasa Maharaj. Ah, you just stick around. <laughs> Rather than run through, yes? Pranga Vindra Prabhu. Just stick around. <laughs> okay, patience. Utsa. Gopramanandi, Hari Hari Hari.